Okay, last pattern is the Chubby Chernobyl. Just a, a really fun attractor pattern. You can tie this to imitate stoneflies, caddis, different size hoppers. This is a smaller version of the original. This is a size 12 hook, standard shank hook. But you can tie this on a size 6, 2x long dry fly hook. And again, you can do it vice versa. You can tie this smaller. In a tractor pattern, just a wide ranging spectrum of opportunities that this thing can imitate. And to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to tie in some ice dub. This is a UV calibatus. And we're going to start right behind the eye. And we're going to wrap back towards the bend. And what we're going to do is try to create kind of a flashier, gaudier pattern on the underside. And that's why I tend to like this UV material. Just has a little bit more flash, a little bit more bling. And when you're fishing small mountain streams, and that's where I'm typically using this pattern. Again, I'm using this more as an indicator fly. There's a chance a fish could eat this, uh, but more often than not, I tend to use this as a tool to suspend a nymph like we did in that video with that little SOS. So we're going to just start wrapping right from the eye and wrapping rear down towards the bend, right above the barb. Okay, that's going to be our base. Now we're going to tie in and we're going to pre-cut this. This is 1 8 inch foam. And we're going to lay this straight on top. And my tie-in point is going to be right above where the barb would have been. And I'm going to leave a little overhang right here. Again, this is going to add some flotation. And I'm going to make a couple wraps, two, three, right on top of each other, and then just kind of pull down tight. Next is we're going to tie in our wing. You can use a variety of different materials. You can use a variety of different colors. We're using a polypropylene. And I tend to use more of a tan. I don't really go super bright. The only reason why in the video I was using a really bright yellow wing was just so you could see the pattern uh, when it went under or on film. But what we're using here is just a polypropylene yarn. We're going to come right down here in the middle and we're just going to split the difference. In this wedge that we created with the foam, what we're going to do is we're going to just stick this polypropylene right in that wedge and pull it down tight. Once, twice, and then just pull straight down. This is where we are using like a six op thread, just some um, a diameter and breaking strength that you can kind of pull down tight and kind of wedge that in. Once you have that in, come around, pull down tight, and then just kind of wrap on the forward side. We will give that a haircut a little bit later on. Now I'm going to continue to redub this body a little bit, create a little more profile. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to just wrap forward. I fill that void right underneath there. I tighten up that dubbing. Just nice smooth wraps all the way up. And we're going to go just slightly in front of the eye. We're behind, depending on how you look at it. A little bit more. Right about here. So we have, when you look at the eye, we have maybe about one and a half to two lengths of this distance from the eye on the shank on the rearward side that we're tying this in on. And then we're going to do the same thing as we did on the, on the back side. Three wraps and just pull down tight. But the important thing here is that you leave enough space right here so when you are done with this fly, <clears throat> we can finish this fly off, but also it's not going to crowd this eye. So once we tie that in, we're going to leave an overhang on the front side as well. <clears throat> now, we're going to do the same thing with our wing, but this time we're going to add just a little hot spot as well as a high vis. We're going to do one right there, just kind of loosely, and then whatever hotspot material you want, high-vis material, like extraordinarily high-vis material you want to use. Uh, what we're going to do here is a fluorescent red Antron, but you can use any color. Just a, And then we're going to lay this right between 
kind of sandwich that in between. There's our second wrap right there, kind of orient it straight in the valley. Now we're going to pull down tight. Create that wedge. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to tie in our legs. And this is just a span flex, just a rubber leg. Any legging material, any rubber leg material is going to work fine. We're going to do the pinch technique and we're going to pinch this off on this side using the pinch technique and we're going to put a set of legs on either side of this material and we're going to tie in right here in this wedge. So kind of splay this out, choke up on your thread, make one pinch right here, nothing too tight, and then you can orient those legs just slightly down below right in that foam. Okay, we're going to cut right there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side using the pinch technique and just tying this set of legs on this side. Try not to pull too much of that poly or that antron in. Get this a little bit of a haircut here. Some of this material got out of control. Okay. Okay, kind of split this off one more time here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down tight, try to lock that in. Now we're going to wrap on the frontward side. Okay, choke up in your thread. Here. Go in the whip finish. Kind of pull that tag backwards once. We'll do it twice here. And this is just, again, you can tie this in a variety of different colors, but this is just one of my favorite small stream indicator flies. Especially anytime I want to use an indicator. And now we're just going to trim these legs. The legs are going to be about the same length as the hook shank itself. So give it a haircut here and then we're going to come right here on top just give this kind of a buzz cut. Just come straight over top, make the cut. We don't want these wings too tall. The tall, taller the wing obviously the more wind resistant and then also the more likely this fly is going to tip over. But just give this a nice little haircut but there you have it. 